Good evening, y'all. We are counting down the days until college sports start back up. But before the athletes get back out there, I think it's time we learn a little bit about some of the young guns for Wildcat hockey. Our own Jeremy Skiba sat down to learn about the man in the crease for the Wildcats. The Northern Michigan University Wildcats reached the WCHA championship this past season for the first time since 2018. A big reason for the success was the stellar goaltending from freshman Rico DiMatteo. DiMatteo finished his freshman season with 15 games played, the most among all four goaltenders on the team, a 7-6-1 record, a 2.85 goals against average, and a 909 save percentage, and along the way was named to the WCHA All-Rookie Team. He was also named the Newcomer of the Year, an award that he says took a team effort. To me, it's a, a culmination of, you know, opportunity and me taking advantage of that opportunity that was given. And then also, I like to think of it as just the team in front of me, the way they played, they gave me the opportunity to uh, play to the best of my ability and eventually, you know, have a successful uh, second half of the year with, this, with the team. Even though Di Matteo was able to earn the starting goaltender spot, he made a jump in the middle of the 2019-2020 hockey season from the North American Hockey League to Division I hockey. Although the jump seemed far, Rico was able to transition and adjust quickly. Yeah, it, was, uh, it was a whirlwind. Um, just tried to keep my emotions in check the whole time. I wanted to, really my goal was to be one of the more confident guys on the ice out of, uh, you know, in the college stage. So um, I felt like I was able to, you know, transition fairly quickly. You know, I, the first couple practices, it was adjusting to speed and, you know, the bigger, stronger guys. But once I was able to do that, I, you know, I got my, my confidence and was able to, to put that forth on, on the ice. Some of the greatest goaltending duos in hockey history have included Dominic Hasek and Chris Osgood, Tim Thomas and Tuka Rask, and more recently, Robin Leonard and Thomas Grice. The duo of Di Matteo and senior Nolan Kent will tend the twine for the Wildcats. When Di Matteo made the jump from the NAHL, Kent served as a bit of a role model for Rico, as he took in some of his habits and routines. The chemistry between the two was evident right away. Coming in halfway, Nolan was uh, was great, uh, very nice, uh, great guy, and you, I could really just kind of see his work ethic off the ice and. Um, it was kind of my first glimpse of what a Division One goaltender is like, and um, yeah, I took some things from him, kind of just pre-practice habits and being structured and organized. Some things I felt like I had already, but um, it just gave me the confidence that I was doing the right thing, and that you know it's a it's a similar level of preparation to junior hockey, and there's always more, and I can always learn more. And, do more in, in the end. Now with the Stanley Cup recently wrapping up, two of the world's greatest goalies went head-to-head -head in the finals. It was Andre Vasilevsky and the Tampa Bay Lightning toppling Carey Price and the Montreal Canadiens. It was a special matchup for any goaltender out there to watch and Rico could not get enough of it. I was glued to the TV watching kind of my two favorite goalies in the NHL play right now and I mean, you could argue that those two guys were the best two players in the series. Obviously, Vasilevsky won the Conn Smythe, um, rightfully so. But um, really just watching the maturity of those two guys on the ice, Vasilevsky consistently putting, you know, a, a great performance every game in every series. And then Price the same way. It was able to bounce back maybe after a couple rough starts. But, you know, it's it's the demeanor and the kind of the character traits of the things you see in those guys are, is what I'm trying to take take away from watching. The Wildcats will open their season on home ice October 8th against the St. Thomas Tommies. With Rico DiMatteo now getting the chance to play a full year in the green and yellow, history is sure to be made this season. For ABC 10 and CW5 News, I'm Jeremy Skiba.